Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. This is me, Muhammad Asif, and you are watching my YouTube channel, Asif Zeb Making Reviews. Dear viewers, today's lecture is basically linked to the previous lecture, that is hemolytic disease of newborn. And today, I am going to discuss that how we can calculate the dose of rogam for the prevention of hemolytic disease of newborn. So, for the dose calculation, we have to have a test which is known as Clehor test. Our Clehor bit K test. On the basis of this test, we can determine that how many ml of fetomaternal hemorrhages occurred. And based on that fetomaternal hemorrhage, we can calculate the dose of rogam. So the basic principle of Clehor test is that we do have potassium hydroxide. This is basically a reagent which is used in this test. And we apply this KOH on a slide. First, we have to make a peripheral smear from the mother's circulation or mother's blood. We will dry it and then we will apply hydrogen uh, potassium hydroxide on this film. Now, what does potassium hydroxide do? Potassium hydroxide removes adult hemoglobin while Fetal hemoglobin is resistant to this potassium hydroxide. So when fetal hemoglobin is washed away by this potassium hydroxide, it will appear as ghost cell like this one. When we stain this slide through Jemza stain, our right stain, our field stain, our Lishman stain, so the adult red cells or the mother cells will appear just like ghost cell, having no hemoglobin, empty because potassium hydroxide basically wash away that hemoglobin while fetal hemoglobin is resistant. That's why fetal hemoglobin will be stained and it will look like just like a simple RBC as we uh, can see in this picture. Now, when we stain this through Gemza stain or Leishman stain, now we have to count that how many fetal cells we can see under microscope. So for that purpose, we will use 40 power objective to observe this slide and we will calculate these red blood cells that is fetal red blood cells we will calculate so if on 40 field we calculate 80 fetal cells like these cells so it indicate that 4 ml of feto maternal hemorrhage occurred if on 40 field we observe that there are 40 there are 80 fetal cells present on the peripheral circulation at the peripheral smear so it indicates that 4 ml of fetal hemorrhage occurred and for 1 ml of fetal hemorrhage 10 microgram of rogam or anti rh antibody will be administered to female so if there is high concentration or increased concentration of fetal hemorrhage is occurred for example if 30 ml of fetal maternal hemorrhage is occurred, so we will administer 300 microgram of rogam to female. And remember, this rogam should be intramuscularly administered, not intravenously administered. So what will happen that if we administer uh, rogam to those female having RH positive baby on first pregnancy, so it will prevent hemolytic disease of newborn baby. And in the next pregnancy, if again RH positive baby is develop, developed, so that baby will not be harmed and it will be normal administration. But remember one thing, that on the second pregnancy, if again RH positive individual is developed, and after delivery, again Rogam should be administered. And again, the dose should be calculated through Clehard bit k test, in which there is potassium hydroxide used as a reagent. So this is basically that how we can, can calculate the dose of rogam. Hope so that you would like my video. Like if you like. Assalamu alaikum.